Good morning, everybody. Welcome back and welcome to the Durango Revel Rally, where we have over 200 revels here and an amazing group of people. This is day three and we've been having a blast. We absolutely love all of the support from the community that we've received since we've been here. It's just, it's been an incredible experience. Sure has. Just meeting all of you has been wonderful as well. So today we have something pretty special. We're going to walk around and check out the vendors and show them to you, talk to them. And this is sort of the grand finale before we start heading back to Alaska. And we're really excited about that. So thanks for being with us. Let's go. We're pulling into Walgreens because I'm picking up a special delivery from my mom that she sent from Alaska. And she sent it overnight and sent it FedEx here to Walgreens in Durango. And I'm gonna go in and pick that up. Our first day was spent getting settled in and chatting with our neighbors, surrounded by like-minded people enjoying each other's company. We later took a quick tour around the vendors and spent some time together long into the morning hours. Mm -hmm. Your Max truck? Our Max truck? They just sat there for over probably a year and a half, mm -hmm. I think, since we bought them. Mm -hmm. Until two days ago. Didn't you feel great to use it? It felt great to use them. Yeah. Cheers. Why is this so good? I drank mine already. It should not be like that. It's really good. Held at the beautiful Purgatory Resort in Durango, Colorado, the Revel Van Rally was organized by Mike and Lisa Reed and co-organized by Celia and John Waterhouse of the Revel Club. This fun event was sponsored by all of the companies that have helped make our van more uniquely ours over the past two years. Winnebago, Canyon Adventure Vans, Owl Vans, Rome Rig, Overland Gear Guy, and Backwoods Adventure Mods. Here we have Overland Gear Guy, who is absolutely one of our favorite people, but he also has some really good products as well, including our vent cover, which is one of our favorite products, and our window pillow, and also the back seat organizer. So they have these amazing laundry bags and garbage cans. And all of their stuff is made in the United States. We were able to stop in at Salt Lake City and visit Overland Gear Guy and check out all of their products and also where they make it, so that was really cool too. But our favorite things so far have been the vent cover, the window pillows, kind of eyeballing the trash can, and the back seat organizer is absolutely our favorite thing that we have from them. It holds everything. The second day, we all knew each other even better, which meant more fun. We explored the new compact and versatile Winnebago Solus Pocket. Yeah. 
Romerig completed a complete lithium install on site. Tony from San Carlos German Motor Works fixed our sliding door that had recently started sticking. And the day flew by as we spent our time hanging out with other Revel owners. What's up, everybody? This was our favorite. Beyond like anything, we just had so much fun because you can yeah. go off road. Before we knew it, it was time for dinner and a raffle, one of the most exciting parts of the event, where everyone could come together and win fantastic prizes, including a Backwoods Adventure Mods ladder and a garage lounge storage system from Canyon Adventure Vans, just to name a few. And when the sun went down, we partied. Vanish, yeah. baby. <laughs> And everything we come together to do, share our stories, share experiences, the good things, the bad things, what we hit along the way. Hey, crack windshield. Oh, it snowed. It rained. It did this. That's what we come together and, and, and talk to each other about. So that's what we're here for. I cannot tell you everything that we've been donated because it's ridiculous. You can't see this, but there's a wall of stuff behind me. This is all CA vans. It's an entire GLSS system. We're going to give a lot of stuff away. We're going to raffle off a lot of stuff. All right, so I'm not really wearing anything branded right now because I've been in my element today rolling around in the dirt under a van. A little bit dirty. Might look a little homeless, but that's okay. So, so what we're giving away today is a used Revel power system. It's on the ground over there. Not really, but if anybody wants three AGM batteries, I don't want to take them with me, so come grab them. They're good weights. You can exercise with them. We're going to give away one of our new stereo systems. So it's got a subwoofer, door speakers, new tweeters, amplifier. It's a whole new stereo system. And if I have time tomorrow, I have them with me. I'll install it for you. If you don't have a qualifying van because you have all sorts of stuff under the passenger seat, we'll give away a discount on a power system. $2,000 discount on a power system. The first one is for the free batteries. <laughs> we have 7691. It's a white ticket. Judy, you're going to get a rig well wrap. All right, so we have one of our solo bumpers here. This retails for about $2,000, so somebody's going to be a very happy ticket holder here. This fits on uh, Spruners, Revels, Rivieras, whatever you have. A Buick Riviera? Nice. We're going blindfolded. It's a red. Six. Zero. Five, one. See, I'm building suspense. Six, one. I, I don't even know. Six, zero, five, one, six, one. 
going once, going twice. Oh, high five! Woo! Today we just want to give away a GLSS because we want to find, we want to give back to this amazing community. Um, from Jenna, myself, Allison, Morgan, all the wonderful employees we have, we've built a family in our shop. And we've also built the relationships and family with you guys. So the least we can do is do that. But first, I want to thank Mike and your team for putting together such an amazing event. I wish this would go on for a month straight because I can't get enough of it. Winnebago, thank you for putting out such a badass van that we can make cool parts for. Thank you for that. And thank you to all you guys. We love you guys. So let's get right to it. <laughs> Yeah, no pressure. Better one, better one, better one, better one. And then, hold on, this takes five minutes. Let me get my glasses because I'm starting to get old. It's a red ticket. We all have glasses in. All right. The number is, it's my age, five, four, two, six. Red ticket, five, four, two, six, a 20, 21, or should, hold on. Time out. Oh, Two beers, I'm hammered. <laughs> 21 and 22 GLSS. Full package, passenger, driver's side, sliding doors, and doors. We got a winner! After that amazing breakfast, we headed over to enjoy Chris and Shannon from Venture Forward share their insight on overlanding in his Jeep, Orangey, while using the Revel as a base camp. And later he gives us a tour of Orangey, but first, let's take a quick look at a few of the vendors. So, uh, in my travels, I found that people are mostly good and kind and helpful. And it's, uh, it's really eye-opening to travel and experience different people and different cultures and discover that, uh, that the world is so kind, even though it does not look like it all the time when you watch the news. And we're here at the Rebel Rally with Talon Sai, and What's I'm pretty up? sure all of you know who he is. Hopefully. We've got a lot of crossover audience, which is unlike some creators that I work with. So. Right. And so we're actually putting together an event for next June, and hopefully Talon will. In... Sorry. Talon's hopefully... I'm coming. <laughs> Talon will be up there and meeting us in Alaska and hanging out with us, and yeah. I've been to yeah. every state except Alaska, not Hawaii yet. But I was gonna do it this summer, but COVID and everything, it's gonna happen next summer. Yeah. We're gonna do awesome stuff. So stick around and keep keep in touch because Talon will be visiting us next June. Ooh. Can't wait. Right behind me we have Rome Rig and if you guys know Aaron, he has been rocking the Rome Rig system and now we have all the power that we need to run our van and all of our accessories, plugins, etc. Rome Rig is here taking care of that for everybody. And of course if you've been following us for a while we have Canyon Adventure Vans, Jason and his amazing revel and storyteller and all of his accessories. And of course behind me, Talon's Eye. Good, hi. Agile Off-Road. Adrenaline Vans. Look at all these guys. Next Level Rebel right there. We also have Owl Vans here and this is who we got our box from and also our tire rack and these guys are amazing. Here we have Next Level Rebel. We've been following him for quite a while. I absolutely love his van. This right here, we're talking about getting a wolf version of it ourselves. Look how beautiful that is.
And they have the ultimate roof deck up there. That is the ultimate party lounge. And behind me we have a Luminous as well, which covers all of your gear with bumpers, ladders, etc. A Luminous is an amazing product. And so we got uh, products for everything. So 20 years worth. Uh, our, at one time I counted 700 products that we could sell. We're going to cut that down to the stuff that's more active today. Um, but if you uh, have a problem with stuff, we usually have a solution to fix it. So I'll show you a few, okay? Awesome. Let's do it. Okay, so we, we started with... Um, like bumpers and ladders and roof racks and so on so it's all about features and benefits what do you want to take with you so we developed some rear bumpers that have swing arms and they will carry a variety of things from uh, generators to uh, oh I don't know climbing gear that kind of stuff scuba gear anything like that wetsuits what you want to be outside instead of inside we make several boxes and different sizes as well for that gear um, but basically so that's the rear bumper on the front we have both light bars and bumpers, a variety of things. If some of the bumpers and things have got winch capability. So if you're going to Alaska, you're going to Mexico, you're going off the road, gives you some insurance to get out. That's the main deal there. And if you live in deer country, the bigger bumpers will give you a little bit of protection because you are dealing with a lightweight unibody construction and you don't want to total your vehicle on, a, on an elk or a deer. I am Chris Schantz. Uh, I host the video series Venture Forward, which is about um, mobile living, uh, four-wheel drive adventure, and, uh, well, just adventure in general. I try to visit a different place every week, a different change of scenery, and I do a lot of exploring to discover new places and campsites. Um, we also have the Winnebago Revel, but um, the centerpiece of the channel, at least for the time being, continues to be my 2013 Jeep Wrangler RNG. RNG is a Jeep Wrangler Unlimited Rubicon with an Ursa Minor J30 pop-up camper. And this camper is uh, an entire replacement roof for the Jeep Wrangler that has a pop-up built in. And I can stand up in the back of the Jeep with this and I climb up and down. All access is from the interior. And it, we've been traveling for five years now. It has 188,000 miles on it. Uh, been in one accident in Quebec where it flopped on its side. Uh, and a pickup truck helped me back onto the road and it just kept going. So it's nice that it has that kind of resilience. Um, in the back, I have a 12 volt fridge that is over 20 years old at this point. Uh, toilet, stove, camp table, uh, I've got a folding chair, uh, an awning room, and simple Rubbermaid bins where I store my pantry and uh, cooking gear and just one other big bin that's sort of a catch-all for everything else. Spare tire, spare tire bag from Blue Ridge Overland gear that I use to carry firewood, uh, PFD for my pack raft, uh, Max Tracks recovery boards which I had to use once in deep snow in Michigan and also mud in Wyoming, but they didn't work in Wyoming and I had to use the winch. Uh, these bicycles are not mine, or, or Shannon's. Uh, uh, come up winch with synthetic cable, Factor 55 loop, um, that uh, gets used sometimes. Uh, one time I got snowbound in the mountains of Montana and I actually had to pull cable seven times to get out of a snowy mountain basin I should have kept a better eye on the weather before going up there in the first place. There is a dual battery system and uh, probably mouse tracks in the dust and an ARB air compressor. Um, mice are just a recurring wildlife problem that we seem to have with both of our vehicles. On the underside there is uh, an auxiliary I think it's around 15 to 17 gallon gas tank. So this Jeep has about, I would say close to 500 miles of range. One, one last modification. <laughs> Please leave that in. <laughs> one last modification that doesn't work very well is a uh, Webasto gasoline heater. Um, I don't, it's not readily visible, unfortunately. 
but the the coach of the Jeep or the living quarters has uh, um, an auxiliary heater for living space and um, it sips gasoline and gradually heats up the coach it's very strong but the problem is it's not tuned for over 5,000 feet and most of the time the Jeep is in the mountains so when we use the heater at over 5,000 feet it quickly clogs up with carbon buildup and needs maintenance I'm here with Amelia. She's the product planner for Winnebago, and she's actually going to give us a tour of the brand new Echo. And the Echo is one of those RVs that we were actually uh, in awe of when they first came out with it because of the versatility and the size of the inside. So we're going to walk through with Amelia here, and she's going to give us some pointers on all of the wonderful things that the Echo provides. Okay, we'll start inside. How's the insulation inside the door? Very good. If you look at the thickness here, that is all uh, insulation, whereas you look at a van or an A-Class and that door thickness is a little bit thinner. Mm -hmm. So that's all very well insulated. Uh, the doors are, and then inside there's another core of insulation. Similar with what you'll see is all of these storage doors as well. That's the whole outside of it. Wow. So. I think one of the first things that I've noticed right away it's just how spacious it is. Very. I'm 6'2", so I'm not a <laughs> short person. And I have probably six inches above my head still. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, this is crazy. Bigger than any van. <laughs> yes, definitely. Storage is something that is really paramount, like going with this cabinet here, is you'll see cabinets that I'll kind of point out all the way through here. Um, so the next one that kind of comes to mind for me is what I'd call probably the spice rack. And that is probably the one I would use that the most on because I would have my spices here, cook on your two burner LP cooktop here, and just be able to grab my spices and not have to worry about oh, hold it up and move things in. So why did you decide to go with an LP cooktop here instead of uh, the induction kind of like we have in the rubble? So one of the big reasons is we did want to give that versatility between having your heating system and cooking system the same. And then you do have a sink here with a wooden top, which is a, means a lot to some people, so you don't have that fragile uh, stone top. And then you have the same size as in most of the Rebels already. It's kind of a standard size. But one thing that people were asking for was a removable faucet. And <laughs> so to spray off vegetables to get all the way around the sink, or if you need to rinse something off, wash your hair, and it does swivel. So if you wanted to, you could get it out of the way. And now my favorite part of this entire thing is the bathroom. So it's just a really simple push button latch there. And let me turn on the light. So the light switch is right back here. So you come in here and the first thing that you notice is you have basically your entire bathroom. You have a window, a toilet, a sink, even a medicine cabinet. And all of that is very sizable. The medicine cabinet is, I believe, five inches deep, which is almost unheard of in a van. And so to open that, I'll kind of show you. Oh, sorry. <laughs> there is quite a bit of room in there for a wet bath. But you'll notice that there's not a shower head, which throws people off that they get a toilet, but maybe no shower head. So what we did is there's actually this dark gray wall here and if you just tug that it exposes a completely separate bathroom for just showering. You have your bamboo floor mat, you have the shower that can either do a drip or a spray and you have plenty of room. So you're 6'2 and you're not even touching the ceiling. Nope, plenty of room. <laughs> this is really nice. I like this bathroom. A lot of people are already asking us, so what will it take to get this in a revel? <laughs> and with my hair, my hair is probably two foot, three foot long, and I showered in this today. And so your shower curtain actually comes around here. So you can hang your dry stuff on the outside, still inside the enclosed bathroom if you're with a friend rather than a spouse. You can shut that, have your dry stuff, and get changed, and you don't have to worry about, oh, close your eyes, yep, coming through. Yep. 
and that has a spot to secure along the wall here with a strap so that your shower curtain isn't always flapping around. I love that design. <laughs> it was, when I first saw it, I was amazed. <laughs> I'm like, this looks so European. <laughs> and then kind of coming back into the bedroom, you'll have, you see, you have three steps over here. And some people are asking why we have three steps. And you'll see when we get outside that that actually affords a huge, what we call a gear garage. But right now you have two almost six and a half foot beds. So at six two you have space on both have sides. Plenty of space. And so this bed actually both the bed design as well as the mattress design are something that's kind of new. Uh, this mattress is antimicrobial and it has cooling. You'll see that underneath here we have this suspension system which allows air to come up through the mattress. So in the summer, it has cooling. Like when you flip your pillow over, mm -hmm. it's basically like that without flipping the pillow over. <laughs> That's incredible. That was a good idea. What power system is inside the Echo? So right now you can actually pick between a couple of different kinds. We have a Lithionics 320 amp hour battery that we use. And you can either get one of those, you can get two of those, or you can choose for one of those and a generator. And that has a uh, 2000 watt, or actually 3000 watt inverter. And then we come to the part that everybody is excited about. This is our gear garage. It has access points from all three sides, the back, the driver's, and the passenger side. We have molly panels to hook bags or anything you need. Uh, very easy to use, very common to see nowadays, even home builds and uh, standard uh, sold vans. And then you have those compression locks again because you don't want your gear getting wet. When you look inside of here, a couple of things to note is that you have this like rubberized mat that does pull out and you can spray it off. It's very flexible so that you don't have to worry about it not fitting one way or the other. So you can just pull that out, spray it off and slip it back in. Don't have to worry about washing anything before you put it away. You also have these L-Track systems on all four corners of the gear garage. So if you wanted something strapped to the back wall, you could strap it down. If you wanted something to the bottom, to the top, you have infinite possibility of where you put your stuff. And that comes with three of these little hookups, which I put my two fingers on either side of the ears and I push down here. And you can actually see how that fits in to these circles. Right in there. And then you can slide it sideways to lock it in. And that is rated very highly for weight. People use them for their bikes in everyday situations and you can move it anywhere you want on that track, track system. Welcome back for another Instant Pot inspiration and today we're going to make a bison chili. So first thing we want to do is brown our meat. We picked up the bison right here in Durango. Now that our meat is brown, we're going to go ahead and add about three quarters of an onion. We'll stir this in really well with the meat and we want to let the onion cook for a little bit before we add in some more ingredients. One teaspoon of garlic. We have one green pepper and one jalapeno. And we leave the seeds in so that it's a little bit more spicy. If you want to reduce the spiciness of it, of course, remove your seeds. We're going to put in some chipotle peppers in adobo sauce. And we don't want to use the whole can. We'll probably use about half of it. We'll put in six ounces of tomato paste, one teaspoon of cumin, and half a teaspoon of cayenne, one teaspoon of smoked paprika. We'll drop in about one to two teaspoons of salt, a teaspoon of sugar. And we want to stir this up really well. We had a slight interruption. During that interruption, I went ahead and added a can of kidney beans, a can of pinto beans, and a can of crushed tomatoes. It takes about 35 minutes to cook. You simply hit the bean chili button, 
it is now complete. I'm going to take a quick bite before we put in some rice, just to see how it tastes. Wow. Good. It is really, really good. <laughs> There's a good punch to it, a good spice. Mm. Wow. That's impressive. That wraps up the Durango Revel Rally, and we didn't even see probably half of everything that we wanted to see, but we had an amazing time, and it was nice having you along with us for it. So thank you for joining us today. Stay happy, stay healthy, stay safe, and we'll see you again real soon.